Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have something very exciting. We have the Pokemon 2023 Buku Bukuro. So, I did say that I was not planning on getting this lucky bag because it's one of the hardest to get now. So, I remembered maybe like five, six years ago even, I arrived at the Pokemon Center at like 7 a.m. to line up to get the bag and I was successful. The year after that, I remembered I, I think turned up a bit later at around 8 a.m. and completely sold out. I was told that you had to line up at like 5 a.m. to get the bag because it just became so popular. Now, obviously after that, we had the pandemic. So um, I think what they did was even before then, you can actually enter a lucky draw to get the lucky bag shipped to you so you don't have to line up for it. So I missed out this year for signing up for the lucky draw because I just forgot. You had to do it at the end of November. So I kind of just gave up on the Pokemon Center lucky bag. But then when New Year's Day came, I was browsing on Mercury, which is like a Japanese app where you can sell your secondhand things on. A lot of people were selling their Pokemon lucky bags because they, I guess they entered the draw, they won the box and they were selling it for obviously more expensive than what it actually cost. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy one and make a video out of it. So I bought the box on New Year's Day and it took two days to ship to me. It arrived this morning, it has not been opened yet at all. So. We're gonna open up the 2023 lucky bag and see what we've got inside. I cannot find my box cutter, so <laughs> we're just gonna have to put up with my kitchen scissors. Sorry, guys. All right, inside. <laughs> Hina's very interested. We got some paper. You want some paper? Ooh. Okay, so it's actually not a lucky bag this year. It's just like a lucky box. This is, well, it's actually called a picker picker box. So, these are all the things that's inside. Let's unwrap them all, yes. Oh, do you want some new toys? <gasps> yeah, you think this is for you? <gasps> oh, look at this. It's a new Pokemon. Do you know what this is? Because I don't, because you know what happened. I, okay, I am the type of person that usually would buy the new Pokemon games as soon as it comes out and I will play it until I catch every single Pokemon. Now, the reason why I could not stop finding it. The reason is because when I was flying from Sydney to Perth, just before I moved to Japan, I had my Switch and I was playing on my Switch and I was really tired. I left it on the plane. I lost it. I tried to get it back. I contacted the airline. I did everything I could. The airline actually tried to help me find it as well because they kept calling me back, uh, you know, trying to get more information out of me. But I think someone got a free switch and you know, look, it was my fault. So I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just waiting until I go back to Australia because then I can buy it there, take it out of Australia, get the tax free because I'm going to bring it back to Japan, obviously, and I save a bit more money that way. So I will play the game eventually. So that's why I don't know what this Pokemon is, but it's one of the starters. <gasps> is this? Oh, a bunch of, <laughs> a bunch of Pikachus. Yes. Yes, you guys know me. I love my Pikachus. Oh, this is just a very basic, you know, Pikachu toy, which I actually don't have yet. And then we got the sleeping one. Oh, I like the sleeping one, actually. So we got two Pikachu plushies. And then we got a... Oh, isn't this from Sword and Shield? Juraludon. English, I think it's I think it's the same. It's Juraludon, I think, something like that. I play Sword and Shield quite a bit but I haven't touched it in a while I have to admit um okay I love the Pokemon games and I was kind of upset are you chewing up the Pikachu can you not can you wait please I'll give I promise I'll give you a toy when I finish filming can you come over here I used to play Pokemon competitively and you know do competitive battles but then I stopped doing it when they got rid of the mega Pokemon because I don't know why they did that the mega Pokemon was so great with the whole competitive battle scene but then when they added all like the giga um, stuff i don't know i didn't really like it that much so sword and shield that's when i kind of stopped playing pokemon as much like i still finished the game i just don't go 
all out and then you know breed Pokemon for perfect IVs and train for EVs stuff like that sorry if you don't know what I'm talking about but I used to be really hardcore into the competitive battle scene this is the little plushie that we got next inside this bag oh it's a shiny Celebi is it it's a Celebi right yes a shiny Celebi! Oh, look at that! What? 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 What do you want? It's a shiny Celebi. You like it? No? You like the Pikachus more, don't you? Alright, well let me see what else is next inside the box. Hina, do you want to pick? What's next? This one? Ooh! It's a bag? It is a bag! Wow! It is a little bag with Pokemon trainers eating ice cream and then the background is just like a bunch of Pokemon. Oh, nice. Okay. It's got a double zip. So it's quite spacious. You can put stuff in. Oh, no, I can use this for cafe sheep for sewing. This would be perfect to put like, you know, my sewing supplies in. Next. Ooh. Oh, something inside this box. Oh, is it this? Pikachu and Celebi together. Do you guys remember the Celebi movie? It was like maybe <laughs> 20 years ago. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's one of those business card stand things. Okay, I'm gonna display this on my computer. Wow, that is adorable. And this leaf thing here, you can put um, a business card or a memo note on there. I think I'm gonna use this for memo notes because I'm the most forgetful person ever. And I did get some memo notes from the Mr. Donut Pokemon Fukubukuro. So that's what I'm gonna be using this for. Oh, I love it. Oh, what's this? Oh, a pen. <laughs> I love how like they had to wrap everything up individually. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> but we got a Staryu pen, which, you know, of course, pens are very useful. I don't have that much stationery, so I will be using this. We have another big plushie. Oh, wait. I recognize this. Zorak. This is um Hisui region. Pokemon um Arceus. If you guys haven't played that game, that game, oh I loved it. I spent a whole week playing that game. I was so addicted to it. It was like the first Pokemon open world game and I freaking loved Zelda Breath of the Wild and my dream was to have, you know, an open world game like that, but Pokemon and they did that with Legends of Arceus and oh, I played that game so much I was actually playing that game on the plane when I lost my switch because I was trying to um, Complete my pokedex like get the Pokemon all the way to level 10 and I was almost there until I lost my switch Which means that I've lost all of my save data, which kind of sucks. So yeah So that's the game this Pokemon came from usually it's a black color but because it's from the Hisui region it looks like this, so yeah, I feel like Hina would actually really love this toy because she loves chewy things like this. I'm gonna like surprise her this after she's fallen asleep right next to me. Still more to go. Ah, this is one of those plastic stands. So you would have to snap these out. This would be the base and then you can put the characters into the slots and then it can just be like a standing ornament on your table to decorate. So I don't think I would be using this one in specific because I want to use the Celebi and the Pikachu one. I don't want to overcrowd my computer desk so I'm probably going to give this away. Now we've got a bunch of smaller items. You have a Pokemon Trainers Offshot folder so you can put some stuff inside this slot here. Then we have a little keychain and the final item we have is Looks like one of those lucky dips. This is a clip and you have a chance of any of these characters inside. So let's open it up. What did we get? Oh, did I break my nail? No. Whew. It's a chunky Pikachu that says none there, which just means what? On it. Oh, he's, he looks like he knows so chunks. That is everything inside the Pokemon Center Pika Pika 2023 Fukubukuro. So this was one of my 
favorite book book rolls to open because you know I love Pokemon but unfortunately it's just so hard to get now but I did see a lot of people selling them on Yahoo auctions and on Mercury where I got it from so if you guys still want the bag you can order it um, I believe that it's all in Japanese though but if you are overseas and want to order something from you know these stores you can use a shipping service that can buy these for you and ship it to your country though the shipping cost might be a bit high from what I remember so the Pokemon Fukubukuro I think is really good value for money so the original price is around 40 to 50 dollars I believe and you get all of this stuff inside it so the only thing I wish that was different is that I wish that the Pikachus you get aren't these basic ones I wish that you got some more unique Japan ones just because I do think in the previous Pokemon Fukubukuro's they gave these basic Pikachu's out already so it would have been nice to get you know different variety of Pikachu but that's okay um, I am going to <laughs> give Hina this Pokemon toy like I promised because she's been um, waiting for me hey girl you've been very patient this is for you new toy for you yes yeah see I knew you would like these yeah do you like it yeah you can have it yeah it's for you take it it's for you yeah, she likes it. Hina loves her toy so much. She's running around the apartment holding the toy, taking it around everywhere with her. It's so adorable. But yeah, that's the um, Pokemon Center Fuku Book Roll for 2023. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad that I was able to get this bag because like I said, it's one of my favorites. I did order one more Fuku Book Roll because I, you know, was searching online um, for Japanese Fuku Book Rolls and there was one that came up that, you know, really caught my interest. And I was like, I want it. So I decided to order it and that should be coming over the next couple of days. So I will try and get that video up ASAP. I do have a bunch of older vlogs as well coming up because like I mentioned in the last video, I got sick in December. Um, <laughs> I caught COVID and then Eric also got really sick. So I didn't really manage to do vlogmas properly because of that. So I have, yeah, let's just say like a month and a half of footage that I'm still editing. Um, I am going back to Australia next week. So, I mean, I'm only going for a week, it's not that long, just for my sister's wedding. So I'm going to be using that time to edit more vlogs. I'm not going to film just because I am way too behind as it already is. But I hope you guys look forward to the videos that I have coming up. And if you guys have any other recommendations for places you want me to visit and film at, let me know in the comment box down below. Because for you guys that have given me recommendations, I actually have been going to the places you've been recommending to film at. It's just that um, it's taking a bit more longer to edit <laughs> this time around. So I'm really sorry for all the delays. But yeah, I'm um, very excited to show you guys what I've been up to and also very excited for the new food series I've got coming up as well. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.